Hey YouTube, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I have the Sports HD DV action camera to show you guys. This is available from Banggood, it's available for $76.35, and the colours are black, red, white, and yellow. I chose the red one and it looks absolutely amazing, I'm really happy with my choice. Uh, it's a shockproof and a waterproof camera. You have an amazing case to house it. The package also includes a variety of really useful accessories as well. Here is a street comparison with a GoPro, and Dave from Sly Rider is showing this off, so make sure to go over to his channel and show him some support. I will have an annotation and a link in the description below. So, I currently look like a bit of a weirdo, because I uh, have a Tully Tobby head thing on, but um, this is kind of a comparison of two different action cameras. You've got the Sports HD DV, which retails for just under $100 uh, Australian. And you've got the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, which retails for $450 approximately Australian. And this is kind of a test between the two different uh, videos. So here's the GoPro footage, it looks pretty good. Uh, I've been using this for my own personal uses for a while. Does really well in low light situations. Enough mounted to the front of my helmet with an adhesive strip pad. Then you've got the Sports HD DV action camera, which is on my head, making me look like Tully Tubby. <laughs> that guy looked like a funny guy of a cartoon I saw once. And it's, uh, it's, yeah, it does pretty well. I mean, for the price you pay for it, it does alright. It gets a bit of stares though. Occasionally people do stare at you when you have this helmet hammer on. I mean they stare with the GoPro as well, but now that I'm wearing two, it's a bit in, a bit interesting. <laughs> Some high speed runs. So yeah, it does alright, you can look around with it. Some shade here, so a bit of a low light situation, but you can make your own judgement call of what one looks better. The Sports HD DV is my first ever action camera. I had never even checked out a GoPro until the day that I went over to Dave's and had a little play around with it prior to the filming. And to be honest with you, I was really happy with the Sports HD DV. It's done an amazing job so far and I've been testing it thoroughly. Uh, there's only a few problems that I've noticed so far. But besides them, it is a really great camera. In terms of an alternative to a GoPro, you can tell the difference between the quality when you look at it side by side. The colours on the Sports HD DV are a little bit faded, and there isn't that much vibrance to all of the different variety of colours in the different scenes that we took. Um, unfortunately, that is a downside, but you've got to remember this is only $70, and you do get all the added accessories, and it is a lot cheaper than the GoPro from the store. I would really like to say thank you to everyone who helped out with this video. Uh, I really enjoyed filming with this camera and testing it out thoroughly for the month. Thank you to Banggood for sending this out. Really awesome camera. Um, I'm going to jump into the downsides right now. Uh, like I said, the quality is a little bit of a downside in comparison to the competitors out there. You do have to keep in mind that the price is completely different to a GoPro. This is just over $70 and GoPros are $350 in the store, in my local store anyway, which is ridiculous. That's a lot of money to invest in a camera, especially if you're not going to use it that much. Um, but for your first ever action camera, definitely recommend checking out this camera, it's done an amazing job. The protective case does an amazing job protecting the camera from water and also from shock damage. It also has three buttons on the case so that you can use the main features on the camera so you don't have to keep taking it out of the case. So that's a really great feature again. Um, but unfortunately, because the case is completely sealed and because the camera does run quite hot, I notice it picks up a fair bit of temperature. I was filming for I think an hour straight and it was insanely hot like I couldn't actually touch it it was so hot so unfortunately I assume after a period of time you are going to damage the camera because heat to that extent isn't good for the internals but that's really the only downside obviously you're not going to use it in the case for the entire time um, and it does an amazing job anyway I'm sure it's designed to take a lot of the heat impact anyway and in terms of the actual camera quality, 
uh, all of its functions and everything. It's just an amazing camera. It's such a cheap camera and it does so much. If you have an active life and you wanted to check out a GoPro, then this is pretty much the perfect option for you. You can attach the camera with different straps to your head, to your waist. Uh, there's different suction cups, there's adhesive strips, there's mounts for bikes. There's so many different mounts in this pack and it is worth every cent because you do get so much. And if you pick up a GoPro, you literally get the case and the GoPro. You have to purchase all the accessories separately. So for your first ever sports camera, 100% recommend checking this out. I will have obviously all of the links in the description below to check this out. I would love to know if you guys do pick this up and check it out. Uh, you can do pretty much anything with it, motor vlogging, four wheel driving, uh, if you're on your push bike I guess, rolling around. Uh, you can even strap it to your head and go for walks and vlog. You can do pretty much anything with this camera, it's phenomenal. So let me know in the comments below if you do pick one up. Um, please share it to your friends if you know anyone who wants a alternative GoPro, a cheap um, action camera let them know this is a really great product I would really appreciate it if you could show this video to a few people as well um, I think I've done a really good job of showing a pure comparison between a GoPro and the sports HD DV and in the bottom left corner the timestamp signifies that this is the sports HD DV footage um, but that's pretty much it guys so let me know what you think in the comments below I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe if you haven't already and show this video some love by liking it if you really did enjoy it um, but that's the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sharing my content and being amazing and please make sure to have a phenomenal day